Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is palindrome number. So this is a basic problem where you need to check if an integer is a palindrome number or not. So by definition, an integer is a palindrome number which is the same when you read it front and back. So 1 to 1. It's the same when you read it from left to right and also from right to left. Coming to the example number 1, 1 to 1 is a palindrome number so we return true. Minus 121 is not a palindrome number because when you read it from right to left it becomes 1 to 1 minus. Also 10 is not a palindrome number because when you read it from right to left it is 0 1. Again a negative number is not a palindrome number. So our approach to this problem is that we are going to return false if the number x is less than 0 and then we're going to convert this integer into a string so that we can compare it uh, from the actual string and also the string reverse so if both the strings uh, left to right and right to left are same we return true else we return false so as I've said let us check if the input number x is less than 0 if it is less than 0 we'll return false now let's convert this input number into a string variable num so string num and this is how you convert an integer into a string you can concatenate it with a double quotes without a space now let us write a function which we are going to return it inside this main function so return check palindrome and i'm going to uh, pass the string variable num as the parameter so this is the function so whatever this boolean function returns true or false that will be returned as the answer. So above the main function I am going to write the private function and the return type is boolean right. I am going to name this function as check palindrome which I have already called inside the main function and I am going to pass the string variable num as its parameter. Now let us assign two pointers left and right. So left will be pointing at the zeroth index position and right will be pointing at the end of the string so end of the string can be found out by using the length method on the string and the index position is minus one so now we have two pointers left and right pointing to the starting and end of the string so if you consider this as a string we have the left pointer pointing here and we have the right pointer pointing here now let us write the while loop where while left is always less than right so which means that left should not cross right so until then this while loop will run now we are going to check if the character at the left pointer is not equal to the character at the right pointer so if num dot char at of left is not equal to num dot char at of right so we are checking if the pointers at left and right having the characters are same or not. Here if they are not same we are going to return false. And outside the if block for the next iteration I am going to increment left by 1 and decrement right by 1. So left plus plus and right minus minus. Now outside this while loop after the entire iteration is done we can directly return true as the answer which means that that string is a palindrome string. Now that we have written the boolean function this will either return true or false based on the input and that will be returned as the output which we are calling inside the main function. Now let's run the code. So it says str is not a cannot find the symbol str because the string here is num. So let's replace str with num. Let's try it again. There you have it 121 is true which means that it is a palindrome that is the expected and we have got the same answer. Let's submit this code. There you have it the solution has been accepted. That's it guys that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.